Hey everyone, I'm going to do a little tackle talk with you here. I recently had a phone call from a friend asking about what size hook he should be using, thinking his hook might be a little too big for the fish he's fishing for. So I'm going to talk a little about the weights that I use and the sizes, and obviously the hooks and the sizes that I use when I'm out here fishing for these monster fish on the Tennessee River. When I'm fishing from the bank, I generally end up using about a 2-3 to three ounce bank sinker or even an egg sinker style depending on the rig that I tie. So, three ounces, probably one of my more common sizes that I use in the currents and depths that I fish. When I'm fishing from the boat, I like to use a heavier weight, keeping the baits down where I want them into the strike zone. So here I use a six ounce bank sinker. I even also use eight and 10 ounce, sometimes a 12 ounce, depending on how deep I fish. I also like to use this one. It's a five ounce egg sinker with my monster fish rig that I tie. I got that one in a crimp video that you guys can check out. My bank sinkers, I use it in my more common rig, but I also have it in the you guys can check out. Here's a setup with an 8 ounce. I'm using an 80 pound leader and a common rig. So I'll tie my swivel up, weight, a float to keep it off the bottom, and then my circle hook. So, onto the hooks. When you're out there on the water, you want to keep a wide variety of styles and sizes with you. Most commonly, I end up using circle hooks when I'm fishing these big fish. So, I keep various sizes all the way down to a 10 ounce mustad, which is one of my smaller sizes that I use. Works great when I'm drum fishing or small catfish fishing if I want to take something home to the table. I also have a little bit bigger size, that's right, bigger than a 9 ounce. That's right, 9 ounce. Eagle Claw has a 9 ounce here, which is offset in a bronze finish. This is bigger than the Mustad 10 knot, so be careful when you're buying these hooks online and you don't see the hook before you buy it. I've heard a lot of people buying a 10 knot, thinking it's going to be a bigger size than what they actually get. So, but my most common hook that I use here is a non-offset black finish by Eagle Claw. This is a 9 knot. This is what I've caught my 4 footer and a 4.5 foot uh, flathead and blue catfish off of. Strong hook. Very durable. Um, from the bank, this is what I like. If I'm going from the uh, boat, I like to go a bigger hook. So these are like 11s and 12s that I use. Uh, these are much bigger. The gap on them is really big. I can get a really big bait on it. I have a really nice hook set up also. These hooks do come uh, non-offset. So I'll take a pair of pliers and I'll offset them. Uh, usually my uh, crimpers and channel locks work really well. These hooks do bend. They're very, very uh, hard to bend though. They're very strong, so you gotta put a little oomph into some of these. Uh, these are a little easier to bend, so and I'll offset these also. But if you buy them already offset, it's already done for you, so it saves you a lot of trouble. Uh, you can go a little bigger hook. You know, this is a offshore tuna long line hook that I'll use one day. Um, this is one I'm using been using currently it's I think it's a 15 knot mustad non-offset so the hooks don't scare the fish away I had a lot of hits on this uh, you just watch right here here's a little clip of the hit that I had on this rod and rig but the fish didn't take the whole thing so check out this little clip right here and you'll see what I'm talking about all right fish on this is my big circle hook. I think he just pulled it out. Hey, so in that clip I just showed you was a perfect example of using too big of a bait and too big of a hook. I pulled the bait up, checked it, and saw that it was bit in half off, which tells me I should have downsized the bait and downsized the hook. I didn't want to change anything up because I was going for the big ones. So hopefully these tips and my example of using too big of a bait and hook help you guys out in selecting a hook size and a bait size appropriate to the fish that you're fishing for in your area. So get out there on the water guys, have fun fishing.